Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jillian. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a collective energy reading for Pisces season. What the angels want us to know as a collective for Pisces season. So today is the new moon in Pisces, and this is your collective reading. Please don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to my channel, and we'll get straight into your reading, into the collective reading. So I'm gonna start with my angel cards. Angel prayers and keepers of the light. So Pisces season is a time for resetting, resetting, renewal, and dreaming. Let's see what the angels want us to know. So the first card coming out is Archangel Jeremiel and Archangel Raphael wants to come out as well. Interesting, because we have the double Raphael. He's here as well. And Archangel Jeremiel is the Archangel of Forgiveness. So this goes along with the energy of release. It's really important for us at this time to be really loving and forgiving toward ourselves. Mend our relationship with ourself is what I'm hearing, as well as mend our relationships with others. So, you know, that could mean letting go of relationships that are no longer serving your highest good. Um, and it could mean by doing that, you're creating space to bring in some new relationships that are gonna be supportive, but I'm, I'm feeling mostly it's being very loving and forgiving toward ourselves so that we can shine our light. This energy of release, release and forgiveness is gonna be really important in Pisces season. We also have the energy of Archangel Raphael and he is the Archangel of healing. And you can see his green aura and um, so Archangel Raphael helps us to shift our perception. He helps us to see things differently, to look at people and situations differently. And that can be very healing, right? That's a form of healing, being able to look at something in a new way. So I feel like this also pairs very well with the energy of release and reset for Pisces season in order to create space for what's to come. If you're dealing with something like a physical ailment or a physical illness at this time, Archangel Raphael is here to support you through that healing journey, on that healing journey. And um, his energy is very important, I'm feeling like in this month, because it's, it's this ability of being able to reset and shift into something new. So Archangel Raphael, and you can recite this prayer. Thank you, Archangel Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. And if you want to recite this prayer to Archangel Jeremiel to help you find that forgiveness within yourself or towards someone else, perhaps this prayer here is for you. Thank you, Jeremiel, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. Okay, so two really powerful Archangels to start off this collective reading of Piscean energy. Let's see what else the angels want us to know at this time. I'm going to work with my angel tarot deck the influence of the angels tarot and see what other messages are coming through to support us but definitely that energy of release reset and uh, i'm seeing dreams as well like dreams coming into fruition dreams be planting seeds to really um focus on our dreams this month piscean energy is very dreamy it's very creative it's um, water in nature, so it allows things to flow, or perhaps they couldn't flow before. Let's see what else we need to know right now. Ooh, that one flew out. Okay, so we have the beautiful energy of the of the Knight of Wands. So that's that forward movement. That so after that forgiveness, that healing, that reset energy, that there is this movement forward toward the end. I'm feeling like toward the middle of the end of this um, of Pisces season, this movement forward and this um, this is this assurance, this sort of like assertive nature um, that we're going to step into. Um, as the as the season progresses to be able to move forward into the dreams that we were sort of that were sort of like percolating at the beginning of um, of this season in Pisces and you can see here it's almost like these these ship these we're allowing ourselves to 
take that next step forward. I'm, I'm seeing this like the ship moving forward and that brings in the Piscean energy of water. This like, so this balance between fire and water I'm seeing here for us. So this ability to step into what we want to create, but doing it in a state of flow and allowing things to unfold. I'm hearing surrender, surrendering to the process, but that will allow us to move forward rather than trying to push, control, or manipulate. What's next? I'm feeling like what's really important for us at this time is to step into that energy of, of, of surrender and flow. And that is going to create that forward movement. Let's see what else needs to come out. And I'm feeling like this also goes along with um, maybe starting something new. Ooh, cards are flying all over the place. So we have the Page of Swords here as well as the Strength card. And so the Page of Swords is really about um, being a beginner, having a beginner mindset, starting something new. And I feel like this pairs with this energy of the Knight of Wands by surrendering and allowing things to flow in a new way, sort of opening up to whatever dreams that we were sort of per that were percolating at the beginning of Pisces season, they're going to begin to come into reality through this page of swords energy. And what I feel like that means, but it's not through a traditional process of, you know, creating a to-do list or having a start and an end plan. It's more of allowing ourselves to surrender to what's to come. And it's going to plant those seeds that are going to allow us to step into this page energy, which is like this new and inexperienced energy of trying something new, opening up to something new that maybe we didn't see was possible for us before. And I think this, this, strength energy um as we see here in in the in the strength card here in the tarot number eight it it really has to do with us being finding that balance between being vulnerable and being strong so rather than the traditional meaning of strength which can be often seen as sort of forceful or pushing or needing to do more. I'm feeling like for this, especially in this depiction of the strength card, strength card here, you see her vulnerability, you see her gentle nature, you see her softness, and that's going to be really important for us um, as we move through this Pisces season, stepping into vulnerability and stepping into flow. And that will what be what takes us into these new ideas, new projects, new places in our life in terms of anything that we're working on creating and in terms of relationships. And this all comes together with this being more loving toward ourselves, forgiving ourselves, being kind toward ourselves and allowing things ourselves to see things in a new way, new perspective through that dreamlike energy of Pisces and also that resetting and releasing, which is going to bring us a very beautiful uh, season, Piscean season ahead. And I, I think, I think the biggest message coming through here is um, through that reset and release, we're going to really be able to step into that surrender and flow. And so rather than holding on to the tension of trying to control what's next, uh, being at peace with the process of surrendering and allowing things to come in a new way through a new perspective. So that is the collective energy reading for Pisces, messages from the angels. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like this video, leave a comment down below. I love to chat with you guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with a friend. I will see you all in the next video soon. Sending you much love always and I hope you have a beautiful Pisces season.